okay this is anal analysis two <coughs> and uh, move to the steps in analysis the first step is to uh, brief comments on the on the trend is the trend positive or negative and ensure that you have the reference the reference the annual report only about two percent of time yeah you must reference the annual report but only about two percent of time meaning that as you are getting these reasons you should be you should be making further research on the internet to get other authoritative sources discussing about about them now the first step is to brief um brief comments on the on the trend examiner dislike when you go like this um, um it increased from this to this it increased from that to that it later decreased from 2014 to 2015. examiner dislike those kind of comments if you are going to make comments about the trend make sure it's a brief comment probably oh companies a is a uh, trend is positive for example if you look at revenue for for Sanofi over here, it's a positive trend. Okay, measuring it's a positive trend compared to a stagnant nature of the of the competitor. It's a it's a one sentence that that easily compare the two company, as you can see that. Now, more importantly, what examiner really 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 is really what examiner is really interested in is the step two and the step two is saying that identify area of significant increases slash de decreases divergence in relation to the comparator within the three year for all the ratios what uh, what is this step two trying to communicate? You need to identify if there's any significant increases or decreases within the three years. Very important. Identify area of divergence. Area of divergence is where one company, which is very important, that's what examiner really wants. When one company is doing good, why the other one is not is not really doing fine. You need to identify those places. I need to give good reason why the company that is doing better is doing better. You need to good give give good reason why the other one is is not performing up to expectation. Uh, let's look at the Excel slide for example. For example, we could see over here in in two thousand and. In 2015, the gross profit margin for AstraZeneca uh, increased from 80 uh, from 77.9 percent to 82 82 81.2 percent. Okay, when compared to the stagnant, almost a stagnant nature, um, almost a stagnant increase of Sanofi, that is a point. For of comparison and that's what examiner really wants and why you point out this point of com comparison you need to get reasons why that is that so meaning that the first step is for for all your ratios for all is for you to point out where you need to make further research about for example if I'm writing on this project for example if this is my chart and uh, I, I, I know that I will need to find out why, why in, two, in 2015 um, did what really helped AstraZeneca in, 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 in the economy which they operate? Is there, is, is, is there a low inflation? What are those factors that help them? So once you have spoiled out the problem, you cannot make further research about the problem or why gathering information you will be so sensitive to get answers to those issues that you have pointed out you'll be so sensitive 
to get answers to them so uh if i'm reviewing I'll, I'll be so conscious i'll be so curious to go and review after pointing out all of the issues in all of the ratios so why revealing 2015 annual report for example i want to know those factors the variables of um, of of gross profit margin is cost of sales and i've checked the cost of sales the cost of sales was managed what are those factors that help the company to manage their cost of sales i what are those strategies i i want to i, I want to understand why is so um Sa sanofi stagnant when i'm reviewing their annual report in 2015 i want to understand likewise look at 2000 and um 2000 2014 uh, um it, it it was it was it was below uh 2014 okay looking at 2015 year i hope you i hope you got my analysis here okay and uh another point of comparison because you need to understand that what you will really be looking at are significant changes that's very important uh for example you look at to, from 2013 to 2014 uh 79 to 77 slight change why the other one just incre increased slightly it's not really giving a good basis for comparison for example if i'm writing on this project another good basis for comparison is to look at their average their average ratio for the three years uh, looking at their average ratio ratio for the three years um AstraZeneca, the gross profit margin for the three years when i add veggies three uh, i get 79 i get 79 looking at Son sonofi i what do i get i get 67 see so that is a good point for comparison so identify any significant increase for example in 2015 2015 AstraZeneca was indeed a significant increase higher than all the three years it it examiner will expect a critical analysis here for you to for you to for you to tell the examiner how AstraZeneca was able to improve from the lowest position in 2014 uh, to 2000 and 2015 uh, and what happened to sonofi so putting bringing getting all of those information external information internal information and everything you bring them together and analyze them with your own evaluation step three step three is to identify after for each of your ratio this is very important get your graphs for each of your re ratio for each year you want to talk about identify the issues in those years first and find the issues in those years first and find the issues in those years first so after identifying the issues in those years first you now need to go 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 search different sources why why in order to give you quality answers to what you have spotted out we're going to those in a in a while